I always thought I wanted to move to New York or San Francisco or Los Angeles. And uh, a lot of those towns really have nice things to talk about, but nothing like we have here in Chicago. The more time I spent in Chicago, I said, geez, you know, I really like it here. And besides, I keep thinking, you know, I was the same age as Ernie Banks. And I said, well, you know, he's still playing. Maybe it's not too late for me. <laughs> the founder of Container Corporation of America, Walter Pepke, was really interested in the integration of, of all the arts and the sciences into the business world. He was also very interested in the Aspen Institute for Humanistic Studies. He said to me, you know, we're, what we really like to do is to have you and maybe a couple of other students come out and be sort of assistants. And I was assigned two guys that I never heard of before to take care of. And one of them was Armin Hoffman, and the other one was uh, Joseph Mueller Brockman, who were the classic Swiss designers of that time. The first time we were in a dark theater, and Mueller Brockman was showing some of his slides, I couldn't believe the images that were up on that screen. It just absolutely blew my mind away. Powerful, direct, there was a spirit in them which was beyond the reason for which they were created. Once I uh, found out about what was going on there. Somehow it just took over, took over my life. So I said, you know, Chicago should have a series of posters that can change all the time. And we should have permanent kiosks all over the city, which would be for the edification, not only of the people who live here, but also the thousands of visitors that come to Chicago all the time. I made some cops, including the Chicago of the Great Lake one and uh, the Lincoln Park one and a couple of others. And every design project that I've undertaken that I can remember, I always tried to build into it a life beyond the purpose for which it was created. So if you do a logo for somebody, let's say, or an ad or a poster, uh, once it's served its purpose as you know, promoting the product or whatever it was designed to do, it has something in it that lives beyond the purpose for which it was created. I think what we refer to today as art and what we refer to as design is just a natural extension of the human condition. It just occurs from the time people were scratching things on rocks until they were making vessels to hold water and stuff in. Art and design in Chicago is not as small as it used to be. It's almost the whole world right now. It's infinite and it's totally international. Even if you say it's internationally, you're putting limits on it, but it is there. People have said, uh, you know, how, do you feel like you're a Chicago designer? And I just tell people, no, I feel as though I'm a designer. Design is, is not a local situation. It's everywhere. It's all around us.